Have you ever looked at your computer or mobile phone and wondered how all these things work in the background? Or maybe you've heard the word cybersecurity thrown around in the news. Hackers, data breaches, online scams, phishing, and thought, oh, this sounds really intense, but kind of cool. What if I told you that there is a step-by-step -step path that you can take to actually learn all of these things about technology, but not just that, also build a career out of it without a college degree and starting from zero. Stick around because this video might be the one that you're looking for to actually break into IT. Let's be real, the world that we're living in runs and lives on technology, from your mobile phones and smart fridges, all the way onto satellites orbiting the earth. And when there's a connection, there's a risk. That's where IT and cybersecurity come in. IT is all about keeping those systems running smoothly, and cybersecurity is all about keeping them safe and secure, keeping the bad guys out and the good ones in. But getting into this world and breaking into it can feel like staring at a giant wall with no door. You see job posts asking for experience, knowledge, certifications, and you don't really know how to get all that. So you're thinking, where do I learn all of this? Where do I start? How can I actually make a change? The good news, there is a starting point that I personally use and hundreds of thousands of other people use to start their IT career. That is the CompTIA Trifecta. The CompTIA Trifecta is a collection of three IT and cybersecurity certifications. These are the CompTIA A+, the CompTIA Network+, and the CompTIA Security+. Now in this video, we're going to break them down, give you some tips, and hopefully help you boost start your IT career. So let's start with the first step in the CompTIA Trifecta, which is the A plus certification. I like to think of the A plus certification as the IT starter path. It's the certification that takes you from someone who simply knows how to use technology to someone who understands how it works, why it breaks, and how to fix it. The best part about it is that it's very beginner friendly, so you don't need a lot of knowledge or experience in order to start the A plus. You can actually start as a total beginner who's never worked or learned anything about IT before. If you've got the curiosity and the willingness to learn, you're ready to start your A-plus classes. Now, CompTIA recently refreshed its A-plus certification, bringing to us the all-new 1201 and 1202 versions of the exam. These are the newest versions of the exam, and they reflect what IT professionals deal with today in 2025. Modern operating systems, cloud technology, mobile devices, and even security fundamentals. If you're wondering what's on the test, don't worry, I got you. Now, the CompTIA A-plus certification is actually composed of two exams and two curriculums that you have to go through. The first one, which is the CompTIA A Plus Core 1 1201 exam, focuses on more of the physical side of tech, the hardware, the tools, and the connections. You learn about computers, laptops, smartphones, storage devices like hard disks and SSDs, tablets, printers, everything. You learn how to install RAM, how to install a CPU, and how to troubleshoot devices if they fail. You'll also learn how things like Wi-Fi and Bluetooth work. You'll learn how to set up a basic network, and you'll get a small look on cloud technologies and virtualization. Too. Then comes the second part of the exam, which is the CompTIA A Plus Core 2 1202 exam, which is all about software and security. Here, you'll dive into operating systems like Windows 10, Windows 11, Linux, Mac OS, and mobile operating systems. You'll get hands-on with command line tools, learn to configure user accounts and permissions, and recognize and deal with different types of malware. There's also a very big focus on troubleshooting, because in IT, learning how to fix things is just as important as knowing how they work. Now, what does it actually take to earn your a certification? Well, it's pretty simple. It just requires some dedication. First, you need to study for the exam. Now, this can be done through a lot of things. You can download the official CompTIA objectives and study away at your own pace, or you can find a book or a reliable course, like for example, going to deontraining.com slash courses and get a course that takes you through the whole curriculum that you need to study for. After you've done that, you need to book the exam. And once you've booked the exam, you can actually go and take it. And if you get the passing score, you can actually be certified. Now for the a certification, you're going to need two exams and you're going to need to study two curriculums for those two exams. Once you pass the two exams, you can actually become CompTIA A plus certified. Now, I do recommend taking a lot of practice exams, especially for this exam, because you're going to need a lot of practice. It takes you through different scenarios throughout the IT world in order to help you prepare for the exam, because the A plus curriculum is actually super huge and it's going to take you some time to get used to it. Now, the A plus certifications opens a lot of doors. With A plus under your belt, you're going to be ready for a lot of help desk positions, IT support specialist positions, and field technician positions. Companies like Dell and HP and organizations like the US Department of Defense require the A plus for most of these positions. You could be making between $40,000 and $60,000 a year when you have the certification. And that's just the beginning. But here's something important. The A plus isn't forever. You have to renew it every three years. Now you can renew it one of two ways. The first one is to take a higher level certification, which we're going to talk about next, like the Network Plus or the Security Plus. And the second one is by studying for an accredited course that gives you CEUs that you can go and give to CompTIA as proof 
of your studying and then you can get your certification renewed. Now, when I passed the A plus exam, everything kind of changed for me. I no longer felt like an outsider in tech. I can now understand how these devices work and what's going on inside them. And my troubleshooting skills really improved. I can now fix a lot of devices that I would have to take to another technician in the past. But I really needed to understand networks. Networks were something really vague to me. And that's where the next certification comes in, the CompTIA Network Plus. Network Plus is all about connections, how data moves from one part of the network or one device on the network to another device. It's like lifting the hood on the internet and seeing how everything works on the inside. If A plus is learning how to fix a car and deal with it, Network Plus is learning how traffic is managed in a city. This cert dives deep into networking basics, things like IP addresses, routers, switches, firewalls, and protocols. You learn what happens when you type a web address on your browser, how your device gets the data and then displays it to you, and how your device actually connects to a server halfway across the world. You get hands-on experience with tools like Ping and Tracer, and you're gonna troubleshoot a lot of things from a dead Wi-Fi signal to complex configuration issues. But Network Plus isn't just about the hardware. It also goes deep into virtualization, cloud security, and network technologies. Because modern networks aren't just cables and devices. There's a lot of virtualization that goes through. These networks stretch across cities and metropolises, countries, and even <laughs> into the cloud. This certification prepares you for all of that. The current exam at the time of filming this video is the Network Plus 009. And like all Contia exams, it's vendor neutral, which means that you're not gonna be learning specific devices from specific vendors like Cisco or Juniper. You're gonna be learning a generalized version of these devices. This flexibility is actually really huge if you're still figuring out your career and how you're going to move. So what kind of jobs does Network Plus actually prepare you for? When you get the Network Plus certification, you're gonna be ready to become a network support specialist, a junior network administrator, or a network field engineer. It's especially powerful if you're interested in working with enterprise systems, data centers, or cloud technologies. Salaries often range from $50,000 to $70,000, depending on where you're located in the world. This cert can be a huge stepping stone onto more specialized paths in your career, like cybersecurity cloud architecture or network security. So the same thing works here. For the Network Plus, you're gonna do the same thing that you did for the A+, except except it's just one exam. So you're gonna find a reliable source, study really well, book your exam, and hopefully pass, and then you're CompTIA Network Plus certified. For me, Network Plus was when everything kinda clicked into place. I could now understand how the networks work, how data is sent throughout these cables. So I stopped seeing the internet as a magical concept and more of a very carefully built system. And once I understood that, I could actually fix problems better, explain concepts much, much simpler, and just be better at tech. Now, after your A+, and Network Plus, Plus studies comes in the real banger of this trifecta, which is the famous CompTIA Security Plus certification. CompTIA Security Plus is the third certification in the trifecta and it's your official entry into the world of cybersecurity. It's the point where you go from fixing systems and configuring them into actually protecting those systems and making a change. In today's world, data breaches, phishing scams, hackers everywhere, security is now crucial. Everyone needs to know security. That's why the skill is more valuable than ever before. The certification is all about teaching you to think Think like a hacker and understand the concepts that hackers and defenders use all the time. You'll learn the fundamentals of security, like how to recognize different types of attacks, how to protect sensitive data, and how to build secure systems and defend them. It covers everything from network security, identity and access management, and cryptography, to risk management, incident response, and compliance standards like GDPR or HIPAA, for example. The current exam version is the 701 version, which even focuses more on modern problems and technologies and business continuity. CompTIA recently updated it to reflect the modern challenges and difficulties that a lot of cybersecurity professionals need to understand. It actually goes deep into the human side of cybersecurity or social engineering. Because let's face it, people clicking bad links is actually half the battle. The Security Plus exam doesn't just teach you how to memorize facts, it actually teaches you how to apply principles in the real world. You're gonna face a lot of multiple choice questions and scenario-based questions. You're also gonna get practice-based questions that take you through real-life scenarios that you're gonna need actually when working as a cybersecurity professional. So what kind of job can you get with Security Plus? This certification opens the doors to a lot of roles. For example, a cybersecurity analyst, a cybersecurity specialist, system administrators with a security focus, a SOC analyst, or even an IT auditor. It's also Department of Defense DOD A570 compliant. So it's really important for a lot of people looking into that type of career path. Salaries for Security Plus certified professionals can range from $60,000 all the way up to $90,000 or even $100,000, depending on the position, your experience, and where you're located in the world. And for studying, and passing the Security Plus exam, you're just gonna follow the same model for the past two exams. Find a reliable source, get practice exams, get a voucher, pass the exam, and now you're CompTIA Security Plus certified. Now for the CompTIA 
Security Plus certification. In order to keep it renewed, you're gonna have to take a higher level certification like the CISA Plus or the Pentest Plus, or you're gonna have to study an updated credit course that's gonna give you credits or CEUs in order to use that to keep your certification renewed. And honestly, for me, Security Plus has been a game changer. It changed my perspective about a lot of things, security and tech, and it helped me understand more about the defense and attacking side of cybersecurity. And there you have it, the CompTIA trifecta, A+, Network+, and Security+, Plus, a step-by-step -step plan that helps you transform from someone who's just into tech to someone who lives and works around tech. You don't need a fancy degree. You don't need to be a math genius. You don't even need experience. All you need is hard work and the willingness to learn. Now, I'm not saying that's going to be easy and you're going to have job recruiters hitting you up every single day, but it's a step into the right direction and it's going to help you build a career and build a portfolio that you can be proud of. Whether you're starting fresh out of high school or you're 30 and want to switch careers, the CompTIA trifecta can be very beneficial for you. So if you're ready to take on the CompTIA trifecta, let's get started. Head on to DionTraining.com, enroll in your first course and get started with it. Once you finish with the course, you can actually buy the voucher at a discounted price that we get just for you and then go on and take the exam and become CompTIA A+, Network+, and Security+, certified. Like this video if you liked it, comment down below and let me know if you have any ideas for videos that you want and I'll see you in the next one.